guys what's up it's brandy chanel and i'm here today with a vlog to share with you guys my trip with my baby boo going to see silk sonic in las vegas and now that's it was so much fun such a great trip so i hope you guys enjoy and our first stop is our hotel at park mgm I highly recommend this hotel if you are someone that is annoyed or allergic to cigarette smoke because this is the only hotel right now as I'm recording this on the strip that is completely smoke free. Oh, and by the way, this is where the Las Vegas Raiders play. Beautiful stadium on the outside. I can only imagine how gorgeous it is on the inside. All right, now here's Park MGM. Here is a quick room tour, and of course, that's me, your host. Our room theme color was red. I've seen other rooms that have different colors, but here is the open space room. The room we have is the Park MGM King, and it's definitely a lot cheaper during the week. Is all the pool I'm gonna get, huh? <laughs> was amazing that's New York New York if you guys can't tell as I get closer um, and it's close to the T-Mobile arena as well as the Dolby live theater is inside the park MGM so if you're coming to a concert and you want to stay close to either the arena or the Dolby live or the Allegiant Stadium park MGM is where it's at I mean look at this view it's amazing and the first stop in the hotel was at Italy. And y'all, it took me about two days to figure out, duh, Italy is a play on the word Italy. I don't know, I'm a little silly over here. But the reason why they call it Italy is it, the cuisine here is Italian. So Italian food from Italy. Very fresh food. Um, I We only ate here, I think maybe once or twice, but nice bar. Um, it's a, they have a wine bar, they have a cocktails bar, and then they have several sandwiches and some sit down places. I felt like the menus were very similar. They're just kind of spread out. We did not have any gelato, um, but I just wanted to show you guys this gorgeous space and area because it's a great place to come if you're looking for some mid range food. Three glasses of wine for 10 bucks. And this place was my absolute favorite. Next up is the Nomad Las Vegas. Nomad is a hotel within the hotel and the bar, the library bar was absolutely amazing. Oh, and you guys are gonna see so much Silk Sonic stuff because we went to see Silk Sonic, oh my gosh. And I'm gonna insert a picture here of the night of the concert. But anyways, on to the library. This bar, the decor, the drinks, amazing and i love that they had even a stamp of the nomad inside the ice cubes like that is a personal touch i loved it this was we came back here again this place was fantastic phenomenal top 10 10 out of 10 must recommend loving the decor in here it's very vintage i'm kind of getting on the piano Singular. Well, sometimes. Not going to lie, almost. No. Nice in here. Ew. Okay. After having some drinks at Italy and at the Nomad Bar, we headed back up to the room to get ready for our dinner reservation at the Wynn. And a quick dance break of my favorite Silk Sonic song before dinner. <laughs> Convenience store slash clothing store in the lobby area. Just beware the waters and the Gatorades are very expensive there. So go to Walgreens across the street. All right. So this is us heading over to the Wynn in our Uber. I'm just showing you guys a little Gucci and Dolce Gabbana over. I believe that's the Crystals um, kind of mall area. I'll show you guys that later. We're going to go there tomorrow. But... We're heading off to the wind. I'm 
smells like hella cigarettes. Big time. Yikes. Big time. Just, All right. Can I? And if you're looking for an amazing steak at a top tier price, definitely check out the SW Steakhouse. The best steak, hands down, ever had. It was so juicy, so delicious. All the things that a steak lover wants and more. The sides were great too, the atmosphere was great. Um, yeah, check out SW Steakhouse too in the Wynn, Las Vegas. So today is a concert day, but before that, I wanted to show you guys the pools at the park MGM. They actually had, I believe, three pools, but only two were open. Well, technically four if you count the one at the Nomad, but um, now it's pool season that I'm recording this, so if you're staying there after the first week of March, enjoy. The bartender's amazing. Made it to the pool, but it's too cold. Womp womp. After visiting the pools, we went over to the Crystal Mall, and this mall was definitely um, very high end. As you can see, it's a Harry Winston. Someone bought me some diamonds, okay? And then, um, completely different from the Planet Hollywood Mall, and there was no one in this one, but there were all the people in the other one. This is a cute little Barbie kind of museum. I think there was some kind of exhibit for Barbie going on there at the mall. But I just thought this mall was so gorgeous. It was nice and spacious. And like I said, no one was there. I love these lanterns. They remind me of Chinatown in San Francisco. Um, if you haven't checked out my San Francisco vlog, I'll leave that in card above. But yeah, we basically just walked around all day. And um, I'll show you guys around on the Las Vegas Strip. Next step, stop, is the Miracle Mall Shops. This is more of your everyday, average person kind of shop shops and then we went over to caesar's palace and this is a, a caesar's baby girl caesar's palace is absolutely gorgeous again it's also smoking so just be prepared any other casino that you're staying at is going to be engulfed with smoke but that's vegas for you baby and here is the Vanderpump Vegas. We were gonna go there, but uh, we decided to go somewhere else. So we, um, this is just what it looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous on the outside. If you guys have a chance, let me know and leave a comment below and let me know if you've been there and what kind of drinks you guys got. And while we were only in Vegas for a couple of days, I will leave a blog post on my blog um, so you guys can see some other places that I wanted to get to but we didn't get to get to um, Just to give you guys some ideas of things to do if you're there for a longer period of time Oh, there should be a light show too. 
And if you're looking for a fun, free activity, there is a free um, show at one of the water fountains inside Caesar's Palace. I believe the, what the fountain show runs every 15 minutes or so and we just missed it. But here's a little bit of what it looks like. Another place you want to check out after leaving Caesar's Palace is the Bellagio Conservatory and Botanical Gardens. This skylit atrium features vibrant seasonal scenes composed of plants, flowers, and trees. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is almost as cool as seeing the water show on the outside of the Bellagio. Um, all these hotels are kind of intertwined together, so it was easy to, to move around and get from hotel or casino hotel to casino hotel. This was just beautiful. It It's a botanical garden, so how could you not love it? I mean, and then I learned a few flower names. I don't remember them now, but they were gorgeous. A lot of stairs. All right, guys. So, oh my gosh, it was so pretty. We have gone through several of the hotels. I didn't really talk much because I know that the music will be copywritten, whatever. Now we're headed back to our hotel, hopefully to the pool. It is really hot. Okay, not hot. It is warm, warmer than I thought it was gonna be. Definitely could have wore shorts. Oh, here comes the express. See you when we get back to the hotel. And if you're looking for a nice transportation from the Bellagio down to Park MGM, definitely check out the Aria Express. It drops you off right in the back of um, the Bellagio and in between the Aria and Park MGM. Amazing. How was your tram ride? <laughs> Thumbs up. It was like, it was maybe what? Three minute ride? If that, yeah, definitely save you some steps, but it's not too bad of a walk anyway. All right, good luck to the whole show. So after that, we definitely walked up an appetite. So we went to the Crack Shack. It's right outside of Italy near the park MGM. If you're looking for some great chicken, crispy chicken, I'm Southern, so, and I know a good fried right, chicken. All right, let's Girl, try it. This was I forgot what I got already. The Coupe, Coupe de Ville. Mm, let's see. Mm. That is really good. The crunch on that is unbelievable. Mm mm mm. Again, if you're looking for some delicious lunch that's not within the hotel, check out Crack Shack. If you go right outside of Italy, it's kind of over to, if you're facing the street, it's over to the left, right outside of Park MGM. It was absolutely delicious. As usual, I couldn't eat all of it, so I took it back with me. But I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. As you can tell, I was so full. And next, off to my favorite spot. One happy girl. Yay! We finally made it to the pool. It's actually warm ish. What? Is the water cold? Probably freezing, right? Probably under the hot tub, though. It's like a pretty pool. Look. It is. Hey! Can I get a refill? Cool boy? Cool boy? Can I get another? Thank you.
Here comes my pull boy. Yay, pull boy, pull boy. Come on, pull boy. <laughs> Thank you. This would be a lazy river. Yeah, Monte Carlo. They got rid of it. That's weird, they got rid of it. That would be so fun. Also, for anybody who needs to know, Park MGM is literally the best casino hotel because there's no smoking. If you go to any of the other casinos and you don't smoke, it smells atrocious. Also, just Vegas in general, I don't remember it smelling like this before, but it just smells like terrible. Oh, maybe, maybe I'm just getting old, I don't know. But like, walking on the breezeways, um, it just had like a stench. Like, it was like trash, poop pee, sulfur, eggs. I don't know. Vegas, it's going on. But, oh no, like, look at this. This pool is amazing. I highly recommend staying at Park Gym over any other hotel if you're a non smoker and you don't like the smell of smoke, cigars, all that stuff. Seven, seven, seven. Let's go! Bruna, Bruna action. We're ready. Hey, oh. oh, shoot, elevator's here. Gotta go, come on. Gotta record now, because they're gonna take my phone. I'm so excited to see Bruna and Innocent. Let's go! Okay, see you guys after the concert, bye! that we can't take a video in here. It's a madhouse. If you guys ever get the opportunity to go see Silk Sonic, do not hesitate. Absolutely best concert, hands down. I understand why they wouldn't let us record. It was amazing. I wish I could have recorded though. <laughs> After the concert, we headed back to the Nomad Bar. Again, this is a 10 out of 10, 100% would recommend. The old fashions were delish. And I'm singing again, so just brace yourself. <laughs> So after having a drink, um, my feet were killing me after the concert as well, dancing around. And I wanted to get out of that dress. So we went back upstairs. I changed my clothes really quick and we headed back out. The strip is alive. The strip is alive with the sounds of cars. Let's go to New York, New York. New York is my city. So as you can tell, we headed to New York, New York. There wasn't really much popping off over there, but um, we just want to take a look at the other side of the strip since we saw the Bellagio side of the strip before. It was really loud up in there, really crowded, but we just enjoyed the rest of the night and we actually had shake shack i believe but this is the end of the night here for night two the concert again amazing you're gonna hear me say that over and over i'm still wishing i could go back to that night i'm just i'm actually really sad that the concert is over what do you call it after a concert and you're like you're sad it's over it's like it's depressing that was that probably was probably the best concert i've ever been to the show was amazing bruno anderson y'all put on a show for your girl then they had a song making fun of you because they made they took your phones i, I i'm dead with it i'm dead if y'all can ever get to see bruno anderson i'm oh lighting okay lights it's amazing all right back to the hotel and probably back to sleep because it's I think it's like almost 2 a.m. <laughs> Who are we? Well, 
doing this dirty front end, but there's like the elevator area. Good night, baby girl. Alright, we're gonna call it a night. See you guys tomorrow for the final day. And let's bye guys. Bye Vegas. First stop of today. Downtown Las Vegas. If you're looking for some entertainment off the strip and a good time, definitely check out Downtown Las Vegas. It's absolutely a sight to see. Um, they have zip lining and a bunch of stores, um, random souvenir stores and a lot of restaurants and things to do in this area as well. According to Google, the historic heart of Las Vegas and the bustling downtown is home to casinos like the Golden Nugget plus the Mob Museum. Definitely come out here to see some of what I guess we can get him in there. I don't know where he went. Where'd he go? There he is. Yeah! <laughs> this is crazy. This is like a freak show. It should call, instead of Fremont, they should call it this freak show street. <laughs> And here is the zip lining I was telling you guys about. It zip lines from here all the way back to the beginning where you saw when we first walked in. This area has definitely got a lot of chain restaurants. There's your girl, your boy Denny's over there. Yikes. And also Fat Tuesday if you guys want some drinks to walk around and just take it all in. The Heart Attack cafe or grill sorry heart attack grill is a very famous um, restaurant in this area as well this is some this is some good people watching i love it it gives me um san francisco by the bay <laughs> Bay vibes, you know. Everybody out, acting a fool. Look at that touch my face. After we walked the entire Fremont Street experience area. We found this Thai restaurant called La Thai Vegas and we had the short rib fried rice. It was delicious as well. It was a cute little place um, at the end of Fremont Street. Um, definitely check that out if you're in the area. And next up we went to watch some of the games at Circa, which I believe is a newer um, casino in the area. They had this cool pool where you can watch all the games as well. But that wasn't open, I don't think, when we were there. But this is so cool. You can bet on the games and sit here and watch. And after watching the games, we took it on back. We're walking back towards to catch our Uber, to head back to our hotel to pick up our stuff and head on back home. But it was so crazy outside. Um, it was nighttime by the time we were leaving, or dark by the time we were leaving, so people were starting to come out this way more. It was more crowded, but also so fun. Last bit of Vegas. We're taking on back home. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And leave a comment below and let me know your favorite things or places to go in Las Vegas. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye!